everybody. Welcome to a sold out Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena. This is the reality of wrestling. My name is the boat, Brad Gilmore, joined by Brittany Howland and, of course, Kirby Carry On. We are just one week away from the 30 man last stand rumble that's going to have entrance like the boogeyman. Maven and more are going to be in this match, but tonight we have a massive main event. It is for the reality of wrestling championship. Will all damn day defends once again against Matty Ice. I know for a fact that Will Alday is looking to finally put Matty Ice behind him as he wants to continue his reign as the Reality Wrestling Champion. But with the last stand rumble looming, you know there's going to be more challengers coming. And tonight is going to be Will Alday's chance to look towards the future. He's going to look towards the future, but he can't look past Matty Ice. He can't look past Matty Ice. And let's, let's talk about the, the elephant in the room. Booker T is always at Matty Ice's side. So Will Alday has to have eyes in the back of his head tonight. He's got to have eyes in the back of his head. Who will walk out of tonight? The Reality Wrestling Champion. We will find out in our main event. It's just Tita making her debut here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena and her reality of wrestling debut. Always great to see new women competitors here at the row. And what a debut it is. I mean, in front of a sold out largest crowd we've had here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. Tita. What does that mean in Spanish, Kirby? It means the spicy one. All right. And as you can see... All right. I like it. Uh-oh. 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 Speaking of spice... My world. I'm be honest with y'all. I have been so impressed every time I have seen my world in a reality of wrestling ring. Every single time, she absolutely brings it. She's got the style, she's got the flair, and Maya World is always standing on business here at the reality uh -huh. of wrestling. Kirby, you gotta give a little me, give me a little something. Standing on business, huh? Let me hear it. I'll, I'll try it. Standing on business. Uh, oh my, oh, oh my goodness. Uh, you better hope she didn't hear that. I hope so too. Don't you have a girlfriend? Don't put your face up. <laughs> Look at this facing up. This is obviously the first time these two have went toe to toe together here in reality of wrestling. The Calientita, only 19 years old here, having seven months of experience as a competitor, looking to, quite frankly, upset Maya World here, who has just been just shaking the rankings here of the Diamonds division, Brittany. And it's pretty shocking that right now, Maya World is technically the vet in this ring against Calientita. Being two years into her professional wrestling career. Oh! This Maya Damn. World's athleticism. Damn. Able to take down Calientita. My world now. Look at that. Whoa. This is her world. We're just living in it. What a back handspring. And oh, look, look at this that from the second rope. Gets that arm drag. Woo. And able to get back up to her feet. She stands on business. Huh. There you go. That's how you do it, Kirby. I'm going to try and learn for next time. As right now, my world. There's not going to be a next time for you, Kirby. I hate to tell you. My world. Look at that. Look at look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, nope. Let's go of that pinning predicament yeah. into the sling blade. And right now, she is just absolutely piecing apart Calientita into the cover. One. One but oh. a kick out. Hey, heart, heart, heart right there. That's showing some heart from Calientita. Now, Brad, we've been talking Spicy. about people being in the picture for the Diamonds Championship. Promise Braxton, Gigi Ray. But let's talk about the up and comers. I mean, Maya World has oh. got to be in the running somewhere. Oh, Maya World, absolutely. A win here will cement her in the running for a future championship opportunity. But Look you know what? Same thing for Calientita. Oh! oh. Russian leg sweep there. Hot like that Cholula green. But that's red. The green one's hotter. I learned that in Colorado recently. As Rena Calientita, thanks for a fact no one cares about. In a <laughs> full mount. 
right now, Calientita is showing that sometimes she does lose her temper, but maintaining, able to maintain her composure here, as she does not want to take a DQ loss in oh, her yeah. wrestling debut. Not sure she got all of that one. Go ahead, Brittany. I think that was in her name, though, Kirby. Cover, cover one, one two. two, but a kick out. That's true. You know, Kirby doesn't pay attention to small details. Except that the green ones are hotter. <laughs> that we figured out. Nothing gets by you, Kirby. <laughs> I am a journalist, after all. Let's oh, find out look at this. Is that what you call chop? it? I think of some other words for it. Sends Maya World into the corner. Whoa! Oh! Add a little spice onto it. There we go. Calientita. Impressive. So far in her road debut in front of a sold-out Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena. Now just kicking down Maya World. We are just a week away. Oh! Oh, look at the rapid stops from the last stand rumble connecting with those chili peppers and now it's going to be Whoa. followed here by the hip Bam. attack calientita's arsenal in full display here as she goes into the cover one two oh but a kick out from my world it's going to take a lot more to take down my world calientita all over Maya World. She's got a great name. I got to be honest with you. Calientita is a great name. Oh, we got to talk about, as Kirby said, seven months in to Incredible. her career. Incredible. Seven months in. And right now, Maya World using her strength to get out of this predicament here. Calientita not able to maintain the hold. Oh, what is this, and Maya? Now, oh, oh rolled her through. Creates a separation for herself. Oh, here comes Maya World. Oh! oh! Massive back elbow there. Dodges the clothesline. Does Maya World. Oh, oh! there it is! <laughs> that Damn. is a knockout Wait, shot one, for two. the victory. Oh. Go! Wow, a discus forearm that would have knocked down many a man. I mean, she put her whole body into that one. Oh, Maya World. Damn. Got countered. Calientita now. Oh, I thought she was going to go for that front. Oh, is that title? Oh, no. Rolls, Rolls through. through. And Maya World now. Oh! oh Twisted her around. One, two, and that's going to do it. <laughs> Maya World coming through and asserting her dominance there against Calientita, who had a great showing, by the way. Yes. Phenomenal debut from a person seven months in, run as a professional wrestler. But Maya World, look at that. She's signaling for it. She knows what she wants, and she is very impressed. And I am so excited to welcome my special guest, the one, the only, Maven. It's so great to see you, Maven. Emily, it's so good to be here, Row Nation, with you here, Houston, Texas, tonight. Nowhere I'd rather be. <laughs> Well, Maven, Row Nation has been clamoring to see the resurgence of you. We've seen you all over social media. We've seen your incredible content on YouTube. And I have to ask, next week, we will see you in the ring as a part of the Last Stand Rumble for the first time in over two years. And so I have to know, and the Row Nation wants to know, why here? And why now? Emily, I got one favor to ask of you. Oh, yes. I'm here doing a bit yes. of scouting tonight. Mm -hmm. Keep it down. Don't yes. let all these competitors know I'm in Houston, Texas tonight. You know why? Booker called me. I'm 47 years old, but guess what? I still like competing. I still have that energy, that drive. And there is absolutely nowhere better than here. I've seen what you guys put out. And you guys have talent galore you asked why here because if not here where you asked why now because if not now when our executive manager andrew jackson making his way out to the ring right now for what he's calling a monumental announcement Brittany. well i mean kirby andrew jackson has been giving us some um let's say entertaining Top surprises, tier. Top, top, tier. Yeah, top tier surprises here in reality of wrestling. He's definitely a fan favorite.
when it comes to surprising all of us, and I can't imagine what he's about What's to do. We are on the road to summer of champions! Woo! We're in a sold out audience right here at the all new Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. You know what? You know what? Before I get there, before I get there, because I got these goosebumps, I'm all excited right here. <sighs> Let me get to the road, Summer of Champions. And on the road to Summer of Champions, we are talking about the number one contender for the reality of wrestling, Diamond Divisions Championship! Come on, it's a match! Okay. I'm going to bring out two of Reality of Wrestling's best fresh off a hot tour in Japan. First, first, I want to bring out G Money. G Money. G Money. G G Ray! G G Ray is back! The money has returned to reality of wrestling. Former Diamond Division champion, Gigi Ray, has returned home to reality of wrestling after four months, Brittany. Traveling all over Japan, making an even larger name for herself. Now back to grace us all with her presence. Looks like she has a mic in her hand there, Kirby. She must have something to say. Hold on, hold on. Let me do the math here really quick. Andrew Jackson said there's two people returning here oh. from Japan. Oh. We know Gigi Ray's one of them. And if my calculations are correct, I know who the second one's going to be, Brittany. Okay, okay you, second, Kirby. I want to bring out the chosen one, Promise Bradford! Another former Diamonds Division champion in her own right, the chosen one, Promise Braxton, is returned home as well. Looking clean and mean, Promise Braxton back here. And I have to give respect where respect is due. Every single time that Reality of Wrestling talent has made the trek overseas to Japan, they have come back with an incredibly evolved game. And I can't wait to see what these two competitors can now bring to the table. Okay, okay, wow. I know y'all ready. I'm ready. I want to know. I'm sure everybody else here wants to know. What was your experience like in the land of the rising sun? You know, Abel, wrestling in Japan was always a dream of mine. And to be able to go over there for three months and wrestle against some of the best competitors in the world, I learned so much in the ring, outside of it. And I'm so proud of what I was able to accomplish. But I'm so glad to be back at Reality of Wrestling. It was an amazing experience. Wow, I'm so glad to hear that. And Chosen One, how was your experience? Blah, 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 blah. Nobody wants to hear that. See, Promise Braxton didn't experience Japan. Japan got to experience Promise Braxton. Well, at least we know some things haven't but changed. That was then, and this is now. And all the thing I'm worried about is becoming a three-time Diamond Division champion and getting my belt back. No, no, no. You think that's what you want to Strong see? words you there from... Oh, wait a second. Oh. Wait a second. Promise Braxton was talking about getting her championship back. But correct me if I'm wrong here, Brittany. That championship is currently around the waist of the Weekend Wonder Child, Mia Friday. It is around Mia Friday's waist, but 
we have been told, obviously, that Mia Friday is the interim Diamonds champion. The word interim hangs in the balance there here at Reality of Wrestling. Hey, hey, let me remind y'all, I'm the champ around here now. <laughs> And we are, we are on the road to Summer of Champions. And the question is, who is going to face me for my Diamonds Division title? Okay, I'll tell you this. Whoever has the best record by Summer of Champions will be the number one contender for my title. Whoa. So I'll say this. Whoever I'm facing at Summer of Champions, I promise you, you will experience the Friday Night Special. Whoa. Well, there you have it. Mia Friday. The field is set at Summer of Champions. Mia Friday will defend that championship against either Promise Braxton or GG Ray. Yeah, come on in. What up, what up? Come on up, dog. What's happening? What you doing here, man? You know what I'm doing here, man. I'm here for the last day of Rumble. Oh, man, that last day of Rumble. I got a man. I got a man in the last day of Rumble. Tonight, he gonna wreck shop, man. I already know. Gaspar. Oh, you know about Gaspar? I've been hearing I had to come pee. <laughs> You know what it is? Oh, I'm happy to be here. I'm proud hey, to be man, here, man. Look, Whoa. look here, man. You know I can dig that. Hey, man, I'm going to show you around in a minute, man. Just make yourself at home. My man. All right? All right. Oh, shucky, ducky, quack, quack. Oh, damn. Well, there comes the smoothest. Eric Lockhart, he has been teasing. He's had somebody to have his back. Will we find out who that might be? I have no idea who it could be. I fully expected him to come out here flanked by this mysterious person, but it looks like maybe they just couldn't make it out in time as Eric Lockhart is looking to regain that television championship that he lost just a few weeks ago. What is he doing? He's giving, some, giving something to our ring announcer, some information. Hold on here. What? 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 Smooth, and there we go. Come on now, the smoothest baby. Let him know. I mean, I'll give it to him. He is smooth. You know, look, come on, look at that silky smooth hair. All right, he does look have at nice the hair. silky smooth skin. He's got that, he That's a nice man hair. that moisturizes. He the gutter snake the reality of wrestling television champion who won that title in an impromptu tables match uh, izzy james is ready for anything rightfully deserving that championship but eric locker as you saw was trying to go after izzy as soon as he walked out when you're a champion, you're ready for all challenges. And that's what Izzy James did for that tables match. Eric Lockhart was not prepared for it. And now Izzy James can rightfully also carry the hardware to prove that he is a champion. As now we are going to begin this matchup. Not the first time these two have met in one-on-one -on -one competition for the television championship. But this time it is Izzy James that walks in as the champion. Here we go, the bell has rung. Ooh. Television championship match. The aggression of that collar and elbow tie up. These two know each other so well, this rivalry. Going back to when we started 
our journey here at the, the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. And these two have just continued to fight over that TV title. Tooth and nail, Brittany. I mean, I feel like it goes, oh, Luthez, look at that. Just Luthez Prez with some knuckles on him. Fists flying. Oh, oh my gosh. That was, that was actually, that was pretty that was, good. That was pretty what? That was, that was, pretty what? That was pretty what? That was pretty Pretty, good. pretty. Smooth. There you go. Oh, look at this. Missing with that kick, though. And now Izzy James, these two know each other so well, just knowing what the oh, other's arsenal damn. brings. They're just going counter for counter, and that is what's going to make this entire contest very unpredictable. That, but, that. but but here's the question. Here's the other thing that's unpredictable. Who is this person that Eric Lockhart has been talking about for seemingly weeks now on social media, on television? He's mentioned he has somebody who's a, a former champion or something of that nature. That I'm not true. exactly sure who this person could be or what they have to hell to do with Eric Lockhart. Do you, I mean, here's the thing though is you, we talk about Eric Lockhart being smooth. He could also be playing a little mind games when it comes to Izzy James. He might not have anybody. Oh my God. You know what? Oh, look at that. He almost went the hell out over the barricade there. You know what, Brittany Holland? That is perhaps the smartest thing you've ever said. Uh, th thank you. That's a compliment. Yeah. You should take it as one. I, thanks. Eric Lockhart. Could just be playing mind games. Jesus. I don't think that that's the person he has in mind. Now Izzy James here going to the outside, continuing this matchup. Wait These a minute. Two. Wait. Oh, look. Eric's got a oh chair. This is how Eric Lockhart oh. retained the championship once. Oh. Izzy James ran full steam ahead and ran right into the gold. This time, Eric Lockhart had a chair. Oh. But Rings the back of Eric Lockhart there. Izzy James was prepared this time as this match continues. Izzy Damn. James. Oh, oh, look at that. He oh. went for that kick, but now look at this. The stare down between both of these competitors. And Izzy, oh. Izzy gets tripped right over into that middle turnbuckle. It's pretty smooth as well. Oh, look at that. Eric Lockhart worked for over a decade for his first singles title in reality of wrestling. He was able to achieve that, and due to an impromptu tables match, Izzy James took that away from him. You understand why he'd want to use a chair or whatever oh. he can do in order to regain that title. The knees right to the ribs. Very cool and calculated. Oh. Into the cover now for the TV championship, but a kick out from the gutter snake. Eric Lockhart was so close. Oh, he better be careful getting right into the referee, JT Stevens' face. He's gotta keep us cool here because he could very well be, be disqualified for antics like that, Brittany. I don't know if Eric Lockhart has a cool anymore. He's, oh, very oh. heated Look when it that. comes to this championship. Smooth. You're too smooth, Eric. Is he, is he looking? Oh, too I smooth, mean, baby. That was, a, that was, it was a pretty nice hair flip. Smooth! Look at that. that Eric is a, that Lockhart. Is, that is a that is a champion. Whoa. I'm not taking that away from him. He he definitely has championship caliber. But Izzy James, in his own right, is championship material as well as oh, we've clearly I, seen. Look, I take nothing away from Izzy James. One of the most tenacious wrestlers in the history of reality of wrestling. The longest reigning reality wrestling tag team champion, mind you. And now finally being able to call himself TV oh. champion. Trying oh. to put away Eric Lockhart one more time. There's some classic lock right there. We've got to imagine that if Izzy James can walk away victorious here, this chapter of his story will be closed and he'll finally be able to put Eric Lockhart behind oh, him. No. Oh. oh, but Eric Lockhart not allowing him to do so. It is standing room only here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. The television championship is on the line. Oh, 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 oh no. Eric Lockhart slid right into the steel post. Oh, no. That's a terrible, terrible thing. Now, that was smooth. Well, no. He's singing tenor right now. Eric Lockhart able to reach registers of his vocal range he did not know possible before this evening. And both guys standing in the center of the ring. 
Eric Lockhart trying to exchange blows, but Izzy James getting the best of it with those right hands. Oh, the switch. And now, look at this. Damn. The TV champion connects with a clothesline, follows up with a second one. The gutter snake now lifting oh him up. Oh. oh, on his feet. Kicks him in the midsection. And Eric Lockhart slides in, going for the flatliner, but misses. This time he gets him with a senton. Bounced right off of Eric Lockhart. Izzy James should not take a second to waste. Here he goes. He's going for the patented kick. Classic but Lockhart Izzy. catches it. Classic Izzy. Lockhart had it had it scouted. Oh no, he's looking the oh, lock button. Roll through to retain the gold. No, kick on it too from Eric Lockhart. Eric Lockhart now's got Izzy James up on the shoulders. Fireman's carry position. Swinging him around. Oh, Thinking wow. TKO, oh, wait but a no, Izzy no. James catches it. Misses with the knee. There he goes. And this time, oh. he connects with the kick. Izzy James hit it. This is it. Can he get the cover? Can he get the cover? Izzy James about to put this book to Two. an end. Two. Whoa. Oh, but hold on. Eric Lockhart, he got his knee, or he got his foot on the rope. What? Wow. The beautiful ring awareness for no, 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 Lockhart. No, 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 no. Not the, the beautiful, the smooth ring think, awareness. You know, I don't think that was ring awareness. I think Izzy James bent him over too far to where he got his foot on the rope. It's now Izzy James. <laughs> Trying, connecting with the kicks here to the back. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, got it. oh, Izzy's cover. Got it. Here one, we go. Two. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, cover one. Two. Oh, cover. And these two are one, just going back two. and forth. Ooh. Cover. Cover after oh, cover. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, but now Step Izzy through. James. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Look at the sharpshooter. is going to do it. He's got it. Oh, He's got the sharpshooter. He's got the sharpshooter locked in. Is Eric Lockhart going to tap out? There is television championship greens about to go awry. He's in the center of the ring. The gutter snake has the sharpshooter locked in. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Eric did Eric not Lockhart. tap. He's just seconds away from tapping. But no. Now grabbing at the knee pad. Balance there after Eric Lockhart grabbed oh, oh, at the oh, knee the pad. Oh, the ring goes Izzy. And now, wait. Hold wait on a, minute. a second. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey. Hold on a second. That's it's cinema. Cinema? What's cinema doing That's here? Cinema. Oh, my oh. God. Cinema just hit Izzy James with a chair. What is cinema doing here? We haven't seen her in over a year. Cinema. Former Reality Wrestling Diamonds champion, the first ever, actually. And wait a oh, minute. No. Wait a minute, not, not like this, this way. One, One two, two, no! Oh my gosh, we have a new champion. A, a new champion, but also a new partnership. Cinema, who we have not seen, like Kirby said, since the Summer of Champions, over a, almost a year ago, is oh, now. Oh my! I am just disgusted by Eric Lockhart's actions here, oh, as man. now we know the identity of the person that he's been talking to. Look, look, look. I mean, he knows how to pick. I'm gonna say, he's gonna be on television. No. For the first time, Brittany, I'm going to agree with the sentiment that you share with us all the time. Eric Lockhart is definitely a smooth criminal. He just stole that championship. Izzy, are you okay? Not so much. Eric Lockhart, the television champion once again, now a two-time television champion, thanks to the smooth moves of cinema. is a beautiful city filled with beautiful people but we know in this city an accident can happen at any moment if you've been injured in an accident call walker texas lawyer today and put more than 40 years of experience on your side Gorilla making his
his reality of wrestling debut here tonight. And Brittany, I'm excited for this talent this change that we're going to start with Deep South Wrestling. Yes, screw up the great, as he calls himself. Coming out here, the fans already cheering for him in this literal sold out Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena. Listen to that, Kirby. The house just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and we keep continuing to bring you guys the biggest and best talent possible. As once again, where talent exchange with Deep South Wrestling begins, as Skrilla is going to take on the one and only Tommy Bolton. Bolton looking to continue his rise through the ranks, whether it be in singles competition, in tag team competition. For him, a win is a win, Brittany. Yes, he is always brutal. Cody, I don't know what you're saying, but shut up. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Hi. <laughs> How dare y'all start without me as we have an opening match here this evening. What do we know about Skrilla, Kirby? Skrilla is the current Deep South Wrestling Champion over in uh, Georgia, and quite frankly, it's gonna be a tough test for Tommy Bolton, as I said, he was looking to pick up some steam here, whether it be in singles or tag team competition. As the bell has rung, and now it's official, Brittany. A tough test for Tommy Bolton, I mean, Kirby, you of all people should realize who Tommy Bolton is. The buzzard is renowned here at Reality of Wrestling, and I don't know if Skrilla realizes just how hard of a head that man has. He's renowned for the hardest head here in Reality of Wrestling, but he's also known as somewhat of a gatekeeper, a who's who has victories over Tommy Bolton that's been able to catapult themselves over to the next level, as Skrilla right now is doing a good job of showing his power, shoving oh. the headbutt king into the corner. Oh, look at that, a little, little mind games maybe here from Skrilla. It looks to me like he's never scared Brad, as right now Tommy Bolton just shoves Skrilla. Oh, look at that, and a return. I wanted to see what Skrilla was gonna do, and Skrilla, uh, you know, oh, caught a boot to the gut. Now Tommy oh. Bolton and Skrilla are exchanging blows in the center, but right now it looks like Skrilla is getting the best of it. Hitting Bolton hard, having to shake his hand there. But oh, walking right into that. Oh, nice uppercut right there from Tommy Bolton. And now this is gonna be a very interesting thing, Brad, because normally we see Tommy Bolton go against the rest of the Reality of Wrestling roster, people that he trains with. This is somebody who he's never shared a ring with in any kind of capacity. Do you think, oh, look at this, quick roll up, one. Oh, quick kick out though. Do you think this maybe changes his strategy a little bit, Brad? Hopefully, you know, Tommy Bolton did a little homework. He got to, you know, pull up YouTube and get some, some quick game tips when he found out he was going to go up against Skrilla, but also Skrilla showing great outing so far. And the Road Nation is already starting to take a liking to Skrilla as we love seeing new talent start making impacts here inside the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. Tommy Bolton able to get out of the fireman's carry position oh. and into, right into that cross chop as referee MJ Bell telling him to watch that. That is a uh, somewhat illegal maneuver trying to go after the neck, Brittany. Somewhat illegal? I feel like it's very illegal, but Tommy Bolton has to pull out all the stomps here against a champion oh. here in Skrilla the Great. Tommy Bolton. Oh. Sends Skrilla right into the corner, and look at this here, dodges the clothesline, and now, oh, plants a run on the top turnbuckle, and now being followed oh! into a German suplex. Both of these guys making a case for themselves here as Tommy Dude. Bolton goes to the cover, but a quick kick out from Skrilla. The headbutt king. Oh no, it looks like we've got a little mixed reactions, honestly, from about Tommy Bolton here, as people are starting to side with Skrilla. Tommy got him up. Gets him up in the fireman's carry position, but Skrilla able to get out with those elbows to the to the chin. And now, oh, misses with the elbow, misses with the clothesline, and now Skrilla catches him into a sling blade. And that was the opening that he needed to get right back into this. As Skrilla back up to a vertical base, what's he thinking here? Going up to the middle rope. Oh, he was going for a cutter. We've seen him win all over oh, oh, Deep South is. Wrestling with that, but now the Headbutt King connects with that patented headbutt, and Tommy Bolton into the Vulture's Arrow. Into the cover, one, two, and that's gonna do it. Tommy Bolton was looking to build some kind of momentum for himself, and he did so against Skrilla. 
Tommy Bolton had to fight through that to get a win. You know, it was a Kirby win. That's what I call it. A real ugly one. Reality of Wrestling, welcome back. This is Carolina Teague, the Mike Slayer. And at this time, I'm joined by my special guest, Zilla Fox. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's up, Carolina? I'm give you a hug, man. You like the drip? <laughs> like the drip? I do. You, you look good too. Thank you, thank you. It's so good to see you, and we're really excited to have you back here at Reality of Wrestling. Next week, you'll be stepping back into the Reality of Wrestling ring for the Last Stand Rumble. What does this moment mean to you? It means everything, to be honest, uh, Carolina. You know, it means everything to my family. You know, I have a legacy to fulfill. Um, this right here means the world to my mom, my brothers, my cousins. And my dad. Next week, Row Nation, get ready. Hello. The following contest is scheduled for one call, and it is for the Reality of Wrestling Champion. Introducing first the challenger. Be accompanied to the ring by two-time WWE. Booker T and Matty Ice in a familiar position that they have been before, walking in to potentially walk out Reality of Wrestling Champion. Matty Ice held that championship after winning the Last Stand Rumble, defeating Edge Stone, and retaining at the biggest Summer of Champions of all time. A record-breaking crowd tonight in a record-breaking crowd at the Walker, Texas Loy Arena. Will the Iceman cometh again? He's gonna be facing quite the toughest challenge of his career thus far, as we're seeing a new kind of will all day take on all comers. We saw it just a few weeks ago. Matty Ice interrupted an incredible reality of wrestling championship match between Will Alday and Chandler Hopkins. And now, after what we just saw with Andrew Jackson, he got this match again, but this time with Booker T by his side. And Booker T, look at him coming up here. Those shoes are nice. I was about to say, my man's nice. looking a little fly, he's Brittany. A little, he's, he's, he's looking, looking a little, little fly. He's looking a little fly. But I'm sorry, this is a no-smoking building. What is going on in here? I believe he owns the damn company. True. Blindside the champion. This match hasn't started yet, and Matty Ice has already made his his stand here. Well, I mean, it hasn't started yet, which means nothing is illegal at this point. Will Alday has to do something, either get in the ring or get out of here. This is a completely disgusting display by Matty Ice. As you can see, the frustration already overpouring here out of the former champion. This is terrible. Oh, oh. man. This is an absolutely this is disgusting display for somebody that wants to call himself the reality of wrestling champion. Well, let's let's acknowledge that this match has not officially started yet, and Will all day just getting. What are you doing? What is Maddie, he doing here? No, no, he no, doing? no, 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 no. Matty Ice, no, Matty Ice, no, Matty Ice. Ice. No, Ice. 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 What are you doing? No. Matty Ice, what are you doing? No. And now Ooh, Will all day. Oh. Oh, trying to fire back. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my, my gosh. gosh. Matty Ice. He just flipped him inside out. Get the ring in the dip. Get the match in the damn ring. Come on, man. This is no way. Raw Nation. 
position. Totally behind the champion. Trying to give him something to latch onto and start himself in this matchup, but Matty Ice. Oh! What? Oh my God. Matty Ice just said Will all day through the steel steps. Get the match in the damn ring. I don't even know if they can get in the ring. Do we even have a match anymore? I mean, the referee hasn't called it, so we're still technically gonna have a match. And it might start right now if the referee lets Will Alday compete. Referee's gotta ask Will Alday if he can even continue this. And you know Will Alday is gonna oh, no. do it. Wait a minute. He is the champion for a reason. And now here we go. Alday, he's fighting back. But so is Matty Ice. As both of these guys just continue to fight by the crowd. And now Will Alday, here he goes. Oh! We thought he was gonna fly. Booker T yelling for the bell to be rung. And it looks like the match has started, Brad. Oh, Wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, my God. Will all day. Will all day, okay. He's an insane person. Will all day is laying out there on the concrete. Sprawled out in the entranceway. This match has started, and I guess the referee's going to actually count now. Now that the match has officially started, what a way to get things started here <laughs> for this championship match as both competitors are inside the ring. And both up now, finally on their feet, and there goes Will all day. And look at this, now it's just a fight. This is not going to be a match. This is going to be an all-out fight between these two. Will all day. Will all day. Oh, he caught, he caught as many eyes with a Hurricane Rana. It's now Will all day is getting set up with a oh. big splash in the corner. And you can see the rage in All Day's eyes. He is furious at how this started for the Row Championship. What a way to get things started here for this championship match. As Will All Day looks to be setting up for the autograph. Oh, but Man, he has Maddie has covered coming. And here we go. Roll up one. Uh, oh, only one count. Oh, well, for a big line him. there. Into cover. another cover, one, two, kick out for Matty Ice. And you can see both guys want to get this match over with as soon as possible, only because they know how dangerous each other is. One, two, but a kick out but like for you, Will Alday. Like you said before, Kirby, this is a different Will Alday. As you saw that he went for the autograph, but stopped and did a little trickery of his own to try to defeat Matty Ice. And he, oh! Baseball slide to the outside from the champion. Through the middle rope, even. He's already flown at once. He's looking to do it once again. Oh, no! oh, my gosh. To the outside, right in front of the Road Nation. What the hell is wrong with everybody in this match? <laughs> it's last dance season, Brad. Everything is out the window right now. We are on the road to Summer Champions 10. Will Alday up top. Three quarters of the way across oh, the ring. Oh, the oh, elbow. Oh, oh. Cover. The cover. One, two, to retain the gold. No. Not good enough. Booker T saying his prayers over there as Matty Ice kicks out, but barely. These two just despise each other. And you can see that. This has never been technical. This has never been about who's the better wrestler. Oh. These two will use everything against each other, and it's all for that Reality of Wrestling Championship. Well, we are going into Summer of Champions season. You know Will all day wants oh. Oh, to go into Summer of Champions holding that title high in the air. And I, I don't know if anybody in this match can use their arms afterward. That's, I mean... Well, I mean, Matty Ice using his arm very well. Pump handle, power oh, 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 Cover. Cover, one. Both Two, legs hooked. And kick out from Will Alday. Booker T, jaw jacking with the referee. Got to give our officials here all the credit in the world. Knowing this is a big match, allowing it to kind of go off the rails early on, and even jaw jacking with Booker T, who looks none too pleased right now. But does he ever? Oh! Especially ever since that power struggle that he had with his wife, Charmel, he definitely hasn't, Brad. 
But right now, both competitors inside the ring are starting oh. to really wear each other down. And this is going to be the part where we have to ask who has more in their tank, Brittany? Well, I mean, right now, just looking at the physicalities, Will Alday on the ground. Matty Ice yelling, what's my name? Usually that is a catchphrase that Will Alday uses. Will Alday showing him a little bit of what Will Alday is, and now... Look, oh, switches it up. Oh, oh it's a sleeper wait a minute. hold. Oh, that's deep. Matty Ice has a sleeper hold deep. But Will Alday still able to get the... Oh, oh my goodness. I was going to say elbows to the midsection, but Matty Ice just tying it up even more. Matty lifted him off of the ground. Will Alday is fading right now, Brad. He is, he is fading slowly, but trying to find a way out of it, able to get a counter. Sounds like a jawbreaker snapmare. Look, Booker T, Booker T is, is shouting. Wow. Shouting directions and said, go for the neck breaker. Will Alday is the recipient of it. Well, you know, you got to give it to Matty Ice for listening quick to his Oh, coach. man. Oh. Cover. Cover here. One, two. Ooh. Will Alday. Kicks out at two. Able to kick out at two. Will, thoroughly exhausted from what has happened even before this match. The last time these two met over the Reality Wrestling Championship, Booker T was not in the building. He was actually escorted out of the building right before the match happened. And that is how Will Alday claimed the Reality Wrestling Championship. Yeah. This crowd chanting for Will Alday hadn't gotten back oh, in this no. match yet. Oh no! Oh. oh man, referee needs to watch where that shoulder's going. Yeah, it's a little, little L close to the belt there. Uh, well, a little below that. <laughs> oh look at oh, that! Oh, look at the T! Come on, get him out of here! Oh no! Booker T Ridiculous. with his license is able to be out here to support his client like Matty Ice. Well, like I had said before, he has to have eyes in the back of his head. Come on, Book. Oh. Will Alday dodge that shoulder. Matty Ice met the oh, no. Will's not out of the woods yet, though, because he's going to be able to capitalize and cover Matty Ice. What is Will Alday thinking? What is this maniac thinking? All of this for the Reality of Wrestling Championship. Matty Ice. No way. In, in the drop zone, but no, he's able to get out. Meets up Will Alday in the top rope. Now he's got him hanging up. Oh my Could he be thinking Razor's at you? He's got him set up. He's got oh him. Oh my gosh. Will Alday is in trouble. The Matty championship Ice. brain could be just seconds away from ending. Matty Ice looking cold and collected. Oh. 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 Will Alday reverses it. Will Alday reverses it. Matty Ice out in the apron. Will Alday inside the ring. Booker T. Can Watson Alday said, this it? is for you. Alday. Oh my gosh. The Iceman hung up on that top rope. Will's going back to the well one more time. And look at this, Will Alday. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, Will Alday with a moonsault onto the top of Matty Ice. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Will Alday shooting up the band. Will Alday showing the heart of a champion what it means to be the reality of wrestling champion. It only oh, takes one, Kirby. And it only takes one. one. Matty Ice caught it, and now oh, trying to go for a back suplex. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Referee almost got caught with that. Oh, and a low blow. Wait a oh, minute, Booker T. Wait a second, just flicked a cigar. Booker T. just flicked a cigar right in Will Alday's face. What? The referee didn't see it. Wait a minute, he's caught up. Ice Man cometh. Ice Man cometh. And now he's one, 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 two, two not like three, this. not like this. champion and he can now join the list of only five other men that can say that they've done that here at reality of wrestling but at the why at the
Cut the cross like that? Is that how you want to do it? Well, let's take a look at how this went down, courtesy of Replay Games. And there you see it. That cigar right to the eyes of Will all day. Into the Iceman cometh. And that is how you have a new Reality of Wrestling champion, Brittany. I mean, listen to Row Nation here. We're about to have a riot for what has been done to Will all day. Ladies and gentlemen, as we approach the last stand rumble, which is next week, there has been a shift in the power structure at Reality of Wrestling. Matty Ice is a two-time Reality of Wrestling champion, thanks to Booker T. We will see how all this plays out after the last stand on the road to Summer of Champions 10 for Brittany Howland and Kirby Carry On and our director, Kevin Barnhart. My name is the Bo Brad Gilmore, and we'll see you next week.